Hello everyone, this is Mrs Edwards bringing you your geography lesson this week. We are still doing about houses and homes, but today we will be looking at local landmarks around Dudley. Okay then everybody, so today's target in geography is we are going to find and talk about some landmarks within the school's locality and the wider community. And the way we can check that we have achieved today's target is by looking at our success criteria. So by the end of the lesson, we can use aerial photos to spot our local landmarks. You can use pictures to spot them and you can use maps to spot local landmarks too. So just a quick recap from last week, the landmarks we focused on were landmarks within each country's capital city. And if you remember, we looked um, at Edinburgh Castle in Scotland, we looked at Cardiff Castle in Wales, we looked at Buckingham Palace in England, and we looked at Belfast Castle in Northern Ireland. Was there anything else you could remember about those um, capital cities from last week? You might be looking at these clues at the bottom and you can see Scotland's flag is blue and white. Wales' flag is white and green with a red dragon on. England's flag is white with a red cross and Ireland's flag is white with a diagonal red cross. I wonder if you remembered that they looked like that. Okay then year one, so getting back on track with today's lesson, we are now going to be looking at landmarks in and around Dudley using photographs. So Mrs Edwards went onto the internet and I searched for photographs that are called aerial photographs and they are photos that have been taken from way up in the sky looking down at our, at our um, town and our, and our area and you can see that in photo one, I don't know if you can recognise that, I've circled a big part of this in a, in a big black circle. Can anybody see what they think that might be? It's an aerial, aerial view of something very famous in Dudley. That's right, it is. It's Dudley Castle. It's the, the ruins of Dudley Castle in photo one. And I thought that was a wonderful shot of one of our very famous landmarks. Now, photo two, I haven't circled anything in particular. It's just an, another part of, of Dudley and you can just see um, sort of the bottom left hand side of that photo that that's sort of just the end of Dudley Castle and the rest is the sort of local area, lots of lovely trees, lots of lovely buildings. Photo three you should be very familiar with. We visit here on school trips and I reckon you also probably visit with your families on the weekend or um, during school holidays. Does anybody know what photo three is? That's right, it's Wren's Nest Nature Reserve. And you can see some of the rocks um, and some of the fossil areas there and then the lovely big green space that we often go to. to um, sometimes we eat our lunch there or we might have our snack there on that lovely green space. Picture four, or photo four I should say, I found really interesting. Now I found this on a newspaper article and it's actually, it looks to be a building site in the photograph. It's all been excavated. But this is where 43 new homes have been built and it was on the old Dudley College site. So I don't know if any of you have ever driven past there or some of you may even live there now in one of the new homes. But that's an aerial photograph of where the new housing estate is and it used to it's been built where Dudley College used to be and I thought that photo was really interesting which is why I've included it today and then photo five is my absolute favourite photograph of our area I wonder if anybody can hazard a guess as to why number five is my favourite photo have a good look at that black circle and have a think what I might have circled in that photo. Look at the shape of the roads and the crescents. 
have a look. Do you recognise any of the streets? Number five is an aerial viewpoint of our school. And can you see inside of that circle, they're sort of like, they're almost like little squares, little turquoisey green squares. Those are the roofs of our school. That's the roof of our school there. And then just above it, you can see a little bit of grey space. And that's our car park. It's, I just think it's fantastic to look at our school looking like that. It looks so different when you look at it from above, doesn't it? So those are some landmarks that we are familiar with. We've got Dudley Castle. We've got um, Wren's Nest Nature Reserve. We've got our school. And then we've also got a rather interesting... Um, building site which is now new home so I thought they were some really lovely ones to look at. Do you recognise any of them? Okay then so moving on now we're going to be looking at landmarks in and around Dudley but this time using pictures or drawings. Now I found this one a little bit harder um, to find drawings because it's so much easier to find photographs but I have found a couple or a few I should say. So can anybody recognise what drawing number one is? It's, I found this one quite hard to decipher. I found it a little bit tricky to look at. Anybody got any guesses? I'll tell you. It's Dudley Castle again. So can you see this sort of... Um, it's kind of like a, a lumpy, bumpy bit of building just on the left-hand side. That's part of the ruins of the castle. And then you've got um, a little bit more of the building in the background with the open space in the middle. So that's one of our famous landmarks drawn this time instead of being a photo. And then number two, I love this. And this has actually come from um, a, a colouring book. And it's a drawing of part of the Black Country Museum. Now, the Black Country Museum is a huge landmark in Dudley. So many people come and visit. It's such a wonderful museum to see. It's got so much, uh, well, it's just rich with information. Really lovely place to go and visit with the family and learn lots of interesting things about the past. Um, and you can see there, there's a horse and carriage being pulled because that would have been the transport um, sort of back in the day. But I really liked that drawing of the Black Country Museum. And then... Picture three is probably my favourite because the artist has put, um, the artist has referred to it as the landscape of Dudley and there's just some really lovely famous um, places all together in one drawing that, that you know you sort of think of when you think of Dudley. So we've got the castle at the top and then we've got the zoo at the bottom and then I'm pretty sure this is the Crooked House. I don't know if anybody's ever been to the pub called the Crooked House, but I'm pretty certain, um, because that's not far, so pretty certain that's that. And then we've got um, the lovely church in the background, so I really like that picture, I really like that drawing. And you can see, if you look really closely, um, the famous Dudley statue of the Earl of Dudley, just at the bottom right hand side of the drawing. So I love that, I love that drawing, I think it's really lovely and, and has a lot of information about Dudley all in one picture, so I thought that was very clever. Okay then year one, so now we're looking at our landmarks in, landmarks in and around Dudley, but this time using maps. And I quite liked um, choosing these two different maps because you can see that they're slightly different in the way they're presented. So the first one... Um, I've blown up quite big and I've starred where Wren's Nest Primary School is, so there's one of our local landmarks. And then I've put a green heart where Wren's Nest um, Nature Reserve is. Okay, so you can see there, the, there are two landmarks that I've highlighted on the map. Now on the second map, you can see map number two, I've still got the yellow star where Wren's Nest Primary School is and the green heart where Wren's Nest Nature Reserve is. But there are also other little tags that show other landmarks that you might recognise. So we've got a lovely turquoise tag, and that's the Black Country Living Museum. And then directly below that, in like a light blue, we've got Castlegate Business Park. Then below that, in grey, is Dudley Zoo and Castle. And then if you move over to the right, 
we've got um tesco extra now i don't think that's the big big massive one or it might be actually it looks like it is because it's coming up to burnt tree island so yeah that must be the big you know the big big tesco i like going there i got lost in there once year ones couldn't find my way out so i asked the member of staff to let me out because i just got lost yeah it was huge and then above there is um just one of the industrial estates so that map's really quite useful in terms of the information on our landmarks within our area but i thought i'll put both of them up and you can just see how different um maps are presented and how they look and um, so you can see sort of the first one it's a little bit more detailed you can actually see the road names on there you can see marigold crescent wren's nest road um, whereas the second map, it's it's zoomed out a little bit and you can see more of the landmarks. But I did like both of those. Okay, then year one. So what we are going to do now is we are going to choose a local landmark. And I've done that for you. We're going to draw our school as our local landmark. Because then what we are going to do is we are going to find where Wren's Nest Primary School is on the map and we're going to imagine or we're going to um, sort of put or point out where our drawing of our local landmark would go on that map. So what I need you to do is go to your home learning pack, grab yourself um, some paper, a pencil, maybe some colouring crayons or some felts or some wax crayons or something to add a little bit of colour and then pause this video here so that you can draw our school and I've included the photo for you so you can simply just copy this photo okay so pause the video now and take a little bit of time enjoying drawing our local landmark our school okay the new one so hopefully you have got on your paper a drawing that looks a little bit like um, mine does here you will hopefully have paid particular attention to the roof, to the windows, um, and sort of everything that makes our school iconic. I try to focus on the porch with that lovely curved roof that's quite iconic to our landmark of the school. And I also made sure I'd written our lovely, um, our lovely name across the top, Wren's Nest Primary School. And I made sure I got a lovely picture of that lovely little wren there. So hopefully your drawing looks a little bit like mine. Okay then, so now I'm checking your understanding of your local area. We've looked at a few maps today and I've shown you where our primary school is in relation to Wren's Nest Nature Reserve. So I want to see now if you can look at this image of a map and point out where you think Wren's Nest Primary School is. If you look carefully, it is labelled. So if you can find a road that you're familiar with, Old Park Road I can see, Ivy Road I can see, Willow Road. If you can find some of those familiar road names, you will be able to find where our school is on the local map. Point to it when you found it. Okay then, did everybody point to this section in the middle of the map that is highlighted by a big black circle? If you did, you will be correct. That is Wren's Nest Primary School and it's quite a big site. You can see the sort of orange shapes is the building but then all around it is sort of like a paler yellow colour and that is still our grounds. So that would be our uh, playgrounds, it would be our car parks, our field. So it's really quite a big site our school is on. So that is where um, we are going to put our local landmark of our school because that's where it belongs. Now, if you want to really, really impress me, you can pause the video here and have a go at maybe drawing this little map out. You might want to stick a few sheets together maybe to make a nice big map. Because on the next slide, what I'm going to show you is my drawing of our landmark, my drawing of our school, in the position of where Wren's Nest School is on the map. Let's take a look. Okay, the new one. So you can see that where we pinpointed our school to be 
I have now added in a very shrunk down version, much smaller version of our landmark, our school landmark for our local area. And I've put it exactly where the school would be on the map. It is overhanging a little bit. You can see it's overhanging onto Willow Road and it's almost gone through one of the houses in Ivy Road. But if I made it any smaller, we wouldn't be able to see it. But it is in the general area of our school. Now, this is what you can do at home if you wish to. You could put your drawing into your own map. And that would look really, really lovely. Um, if you don't want to do that, that's fine because we have done this activity together. We have found Wren's Nest Primary on the map and we have added the landmark in. But if you would like to do an extra little bit of work, it always helps the brain, doesn't it? You can draw your own map and then draw a small landmark of our school, but our school is the landmark in our local area, so that would be really cool if you wanted to do that. Okay then, so we are nearing the end of our geography lesson today, year ones, and we just need to check how we got on with today's lesson. So our target today was to find and talk about landmarks within the school's locality and the wider community. And I think we've all done that very, very well. We looked at aerial photographs and we spotted local landmarks on photographs so we can give ourselves a big smiley face for that. We used pictures to spot local landmarks so we can give a big super duper smiley face for that. And we used maps to spot local landmarks too. So I think today has been a very successful geography day today. So well done year ones. Now you know that I love looking at all your work. It makes my week when I see your lovely work. So don't forget to share your work with me. WhatsApp me on 07858 986604 or email me at year1 at rens-nest.dudley.shoe.uk or when you're on your daily walk, pop over to school and drop your work into our red post box. It's been lovely doing geography with you today, guys. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.